Hello guys. Okay, so ngayon naman ang discuss naman natin is about motion curves, no? So last time sinabi ko, 'di ba, na uh, possible kasi class instead of providing the equation relating the the velocity or position or the acceleration no, with respect to time t. So sometimes mas maganda siyang i-present using yung um, diagram, no? Pinaplat na siya directly dun sa um, Cartesian plane and then by diagram na lang no kasi mas maganda nga naman kasi dito makita na uh, kung paano ba talaga yung behavior ng particle natin kasi for example ito we can see that the particle starts initially no um, from acceleration being equal to zero and then nag-increase yung acceleration so sige nag speed up siya okay and then nag-decelerate dito no dito sa baba So, ito, acceleration pa rin naman to, no? Yun nga lang, lumiliit yung acceleration niya. But still, nag-accelerate. So, nawala ng acceleration, and then, eh, nag-decelerate na siya dito sa point na to. So, pagating dito sa velocity ta time diagram, so, as you can see, initially, nag-start din siya sa zero, and then, dahil nga nag-accelerate siya, no, from this point papunta dito, so, as you can see, pataas ng pataas yung velocity dito sa, ano, Velocity time diagram no, up to this point. Tapos, nung naging zero yung acceleration, ayun, no, nakita mo na naging constant siya. Naging horizontal. And then, bumagal na siya. No, lumiliit na yung velocity. Okay? Guess ba, no? Kung paano ba natin i-interpret yung ano, motion curve? No? Kasi at this point, nagde-decelerate na siya since acceleration nasa, neg nasa negative axis na siya. So, bumabagal na siya dito. Up until such time, tumigil na siya, no? nag-address na siya. So, kumbaga, nakikita natin yung behavior ng particle, no? Kasi kapag equation, hindi mo makita yung behavior, eh, no? Na alam yung equation na nag relate pero hindi mo makita kung paano ba gumalaw, no? Paano gumagalaw yung particle. And then, in this case, na no, nakikita mo sa, ano, um, position time diagram, na yung particle nag-start sa zero, And then, ayan o. So, parang, ano siya, moving in one direction alone. Ang nangyari dito. No? Kung baga, kung papuntang right, papuntang right lang. Bakit? Kasi dito sa velocity time diagram, wala namang naging negative velocity time ba? Kasi di ba magkakaroon lang siya ng, ano, ng backward movement kapag nagkakaroon ng, ano, ng negative dito sa, ano, sa velocity. In this case, yung velocity is all positive. So, sabihin, ano lang siya, dire-diretso lang siya. So, makikita mo dito sa, ano, sa position time diagram, ayan, palaki lang ng palaki yung position niya. No? Until ma-reach ma niya tong pinaka, ano niya, malayong position niya. Okay? So, that is on how we interpret the motion curves, no? So, anyways, how do we solve, no, yung mga, kailangan, ano, halimbawa, gusto natin makuha yung velocity at time 2. Ito, no, how do we solve itong velocity at time 2? No. Kukunin lang natin yung height na to. So that means yun yung velocity at time 2. So ano yung velocity at time 1? Kunin mo lang yung height na to. But with regards to the relationship ng mga motion curves, so what is the relationship, no? So let us say um, we have here the time interval t1 and then t2. Okay? So at t1, the velocity is v1. At t2, the velocity is V2. Okay? So, as you can see here, no, there will be a change in velocity. So, that is the difference be 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 between um, V2 and V1. So, how do we solve for the change in velocity? Okay, this one. Or yung V2 minus V1. So, sabi dito, class, no, sa, sa motion curve, no, the relationship is that the change in velocity is equal to the area of the acceleration time diagram under that time interval. Okay? So, meaning to say, if we are referring to this point, saka dito, so, kunin lang natin yung time interval na yan, which is ito, and then kunin natin yung area ng acceleration time diagram. So, whatever is the area of the shaded region, no, yung kulay red, so that is the value of this one, no, yung delta V. So, meaning to say, if you are given by this one, no, V1, kung given yan, 
So, ipa-plus natin itong area. Makukuha na natin yung V2. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kasimple, guys. Ah, guys, no? So, the same with the um, position diagram. Okay? Position time diagram. So, the same, ano tayo, no? The same time, no? T1, S1. Ito, T2, S2. So, para makuha naman natin yung ano niya, yung, yung position niya at time 2, no? With respect dito sa time 1. So, kunin natin tong delta S. So, para makuha naman tong delta S, guys, no? Itong height na to, yung change nung S2 and then S1, or S2 minus S1. So, ganun din. Area rin naman siya, no? Equal naman siya sa area above that diagram. So, in that case, area naman na siya neto ng velocity time diagram. Okay? So, meaning to say, if we have the value of S1, so, we just have to add, no? Itong area ng velocity time diagram. So, in that case, makukuha na natin itong um, position niya at point 2. Okay? So, gets ba yun, guys? So, area-area lang, no? Okay, so para mas magets natin siya, I think, mas maganda i-apply na natin siya sa ating sample problem. Okay, ayan. No? So, start tayo class, apply natin situation 10. So, sabi dito, the car starts from rest and travels along a straight track such that it accelerates at 10 meters per second squared for 10 seconds and then decelerates at 2 meters per second squared. So, asan yung tanong? Okay, so wait lang guys. Wala pa pala yung tanong. Ayan. Wala yung tanong guys, no? Determine the time T prime needed to stop the car. So, kailan daw siya titigil guys? And then, how far has the car traveled? So, as you can see, no, I'm provided here is the acceleration time diagram. Okay? So, makikita mo na base sa statement ng problem, tutugma yung, yung diagram, no? Ayan, no? From time is equal to 0 up to 10, ayan, no? 0 to 10, ang acceleration is constant to be 10 meters per second squared. And then, at after 10 seconds, no, up to time T prime, so, nagde-decelerate siya ng 2 meters per second squared. So, that is negative 2 here. So, tinatanong, kailan daw siya titigil? No? At what time T prime siya titigil? No? Magiging velocity is equal to 0. And then, how far has the car, has the car traveled? Okay? So, ang kailangan natin gawin dito, class, is to draw no yung yung ano yung uh, missing diagrams yung velocity time diagram sa kayong position time diagram so ito pala yung relationship guys na no, before we continue so if the curve no yung, yung acceleration time diagram is n degree okay so therefore the degree of the succeeding diagram will be n plus 1 degree. So, ito magiging ano to? n plus 1 degree. And then, ito magiging n plus 2 degree. Okay? Ano ba yung degree? So, ganito yan guys, no? So, ito, 0 degree kapag horizontal. So, yung next sa kanya kapag 0 plus 1. So, therefore, 1 degree. So, yung 1 degree is a line. No? Pwedeng ganyan or pwedeng pa ganito. Okay. Next is um, second degree. So, yung second degree parang ano yun? Parabola, no? So, pwedeng pa ganito or pwedeng pa ganyan. This one is second degree. So, it depends, no? Kung anong curvature ba siya. Kung ano siya? Um, concave upward or concave downward. So, later on, isasabihin ko sa inyo, no, kung paano malalaman kung alin sa dalawa. So, yung third curvature, ganun na lang din yung pares na lang, no. So, and then, any further curvature, pare-pares na lang na curve. No? So, third, 
and then and so on no basta puro curve so basta nagsimula sa zero horizontal line first degree inclined line and then naging curve and then puro curve na siya okay so ganyan yung pattern no magi-start sa n degree magka plus 1 ka and then another plus 1 okay so apply natin yun dito guys Okay, so drawing lang muna tayo konti guys. Okay, ayan yung given no. So this one is 10. So this one is projected here. This one is negative 2. So this one is ano? 10 seconds. Okay, so let us draw the, this one is ano? Acceleration time diagram so let us draw the velocity time diagram yeah. velocity time diagram so as you can see here this one is a zero degree no of course this one zero degree then so definitely yung um graph under that curve no will be a first degree na no pag first degree meaning to say line okay so let us define first no diba this one is the um this one is the time is equal to zero so at time is equal to zero what is the velocity guys sinabi ba may clue ba tayo what is the velocity at time is equal to zero yes no so sinabi the car starts from rest so, mean to say, kung ipa-plot natin siya dito, dito tayo magsimula sa zero. Okay? And then, if you want to determine the velocity after 10 seconds, how do we do that? So, kung nag-start tayo, may initial, di ba sabi natin yung delta V ay equal sa area, no? Nung acceleration time diagram during that time interval. So, we are referring, no, from zero to 10, so, mean to say, para makuha natin yung change in velocity from 0 to 10, we just have to solve, no, for the area under this curve, no? Kunin natin tong area na to. So, the area will be, of course, um, 10 times 10. No? Positive. Lagyan natin positive. So, 10 times 10, that is, tama ba? 10 times 10, that is 100. Okay? So, mean to say, from 0, no, from 0, aangat ako ng 100. So, pupunta ako dito, guys. Let's say, for example, ito yung 100. Okay? Tapos, how will I connect those points? So, si since 0 degree yung nasa taas, so, this one, dapat i-coconnect ko siya by first degree. That is line. Okay? Tapos, ang sabi, no, at time is equal to t prime, anong nangyari? At time is equal to t prime, no, yung, yung katapat na ito dito sa baba, ano na daw dapat yung velocity? Di ba sabi dapat, that at time t prime, dapat yung car, nag-stop na siya. Okay? So, mean to say, in the velocity time diagram, ipa-plot natin siya dito, nag-zero. Tapos, how will we connect 100 and then yung zero? So, since this one is still zero degree, so therefore, we will connect this one by first degree, no, line. Ayan. So, ang tinatanong, ayun nga, ano yung time na yun? So, how do we solve for that time, guys? Okay? So, nag ba yung pattern? So, this one, 0 plus this area equal yun dito sa point na to. 100. So, therefore, kung dito tayo magsimula naman, this one is 100. Okay? This one is 100. Tapos, kung ipa-plus natin tong area na to, no? 
100 plus this area. Which is what? Anong area nyan guys? So that is negative 2, di ba? And then anong tong length na to? So this one is t prime minus 10, di ba? Halimbawa, in t prime, 15 seconds. E di dapat ito is 5 seconds, di ba? Okay, or algebraically, this length is t prime minus 10. Okay lang. t prime minus 10. So that is now the area, no? Negative 2 times t prime minus 10. So meaning to say again, kung dito tayo mag-start, 100, at i-add natin to, yung area na to, so plus yung area na negative 2 times t prime minus 10. Ano dapat yung resulta guys? Ano dapat yung result? Dapat magiging eto, no? 0. Sinabi kasi dapat mag-address. Nag-guess nyo ba yung naging process? No? So, hindi mo na siya kailangan talagang i-gamitin pa yung ganitong format. Basta dapat alam mo na yung velocity time diagram nang galing lang siya sa area na itong acceleration time diagram. Okay? So, ulitin natin. 0. And then, at this area, makukuha mo tong height na to. So, ganun din dito. So, this value, 100, plus this area, makuha natin tong height na to, which is 0. Okay, so from that, nakagawa tayo ng equation na ang unknown is yung t prime. So, how much is t prime, guys? So, that is 60, no? So, meaning to say, after 60 seconds, no, don't siya titigil, guys. So, yun yung sagot. Okay, so, nagets ba guys? Sana nagets. Lipat natin to dito. Okay, so, which is correct, no? Letter A. So, next, how far has the, cra has the car traveled? So, gailangan natin gawin is to draw the position time diagram. Okay? So, S and then this one is T. So, as you can see, wala namang sinabi, no? At time is equal to zero, wala namang sinabi. So, let us assume na nag-start siya at zero. No? Kapag walang sinabi, lagay mo zero. Okay? So, kung nanggaling siya sa zero, guys, Paano tayong pupunta dito sa gitna? Sa 10? So, diba? We know that this one is 10. Lagay nga natin. Ito, 60. Ah, 60. Ayan. So, after 10 seconds, so, ano na yung ano? Tawag dito, ano na yung position niya? So, anong gagawin? Kunin mo itong area na ito, diba? So, area equals 1 half base times the height. Base is 10. Height is 100. So, ilan yan, guys? 500 ba yan? Tama, no? 500. So, mean to say, from initial position 0, mag add ako ng 500. So, 0 plus 500, o, oh, edi 500. Lagyan natin dito, 500. Now, the question is, how um, will we connect no, these two points? 0 and 500. Paano siya i-coconnect? So, since this one is first degree, so dapat second degree. So, kaso, anong second degree? Kasi mayroong dalawang types ng second degree. So, this one, saka ito. No? Concave on, upward, saka concave downward. So, alin dyan? Kasi pwede kahit, pa, pa, kahit ano dun eh. Pwedeng concave upward, and yun. Or concave downward, pag ganito. Sana na-gets no, yung sinasabi ko. So, which one is the correct curve, guys? No? So, sino dun? So, para malaman natin, um, ganito, no? Titignan mo yung points doon sa velocity time diagram. Kasi doon siya nang galing, ba? So, sa nag-start, guys? Sa zero. Tapos, nagtapos sa 100. So, what can you say with respect doon sa, ano, sa velocity? Is it increasing or is it decreasing? So, from 0 to 100. So, as you can see, increasing yung velocity. 
Okay? So, hahanapin natin dito sa dalawang curve na to kung sino yung may increasing slope. Okay? So, check natin tong una. Yung una, initially, ito yung slope niya. Tama? And then, on the right side, ito yung slope niya. So, di ba ito negative slope? Ito, positive slope. So, meaning to say, from negative, naging positive. So, we can say that this curve has an increasing slope. So, meaning to say, kapag yung value ng velocity is increasing, so we will use this one. Okay? Kasi ito, ito is nanggaling from positive slope, tapos naging negative yung slope. Okay? So, from positive naging negative, so this one has a decreasing slope naman. So, gagamitin naman natin yung decreasing slope if yung yung value above is from malaking value pababa, no? decreasing yung value. Okay lang? So, in this case, from 0 to 100, so increasing. So, gamitin natin tong curve na to. Yung concave upward. So, to connect, edi eh, ito yung gagamitin natin, guys. No? Ayan. Increasing. Okay lang ba? Yung kalahati lang ginamit natin. No? Basta dapat ito yung gagamitin mo for increasing. Okay lang ba yun, guys? So, sana okay lang, no? And then, next, from 500, o, paano tayo mapupunta dito sa ano? Time is equal to 60 seconds. So, project natin to, no? So, baba ko lang to, guys. Ayan. So, paano natin makukuha yung ano? Yung position niya at 60 seconds. So, mula dito sa 500, anong gagawin? From 500, we will add this area. So, this one is still a positive area, no? So, kunin natin yung area na ito. Ilan yung area na ito, guys? One half. Ano yung base, guys? Ito yung base, no? 50 lang yan, guys, no? 60 minus 10. So, 50. One half base times the height, 100. Okay, so what is the area? That is 2, 5. Okay, so 2, 5. So, meaning to say, from 500, idadagdag natin yung area na to na 2, 5. So, that is 500 plus 2, 5. So, magiging, pagpunta niya dito, ano na siya? 3,000. Okay, 500 plus 2, 5. 3,000 na siya dito. So, paano naman natin i-coconnect ang 2 points na to? Paano i-coconnect yan? So, check mo yung, ano, yung graph sa taas. So, as you can see, from 100 naging 0. Okay? From 100 naging 0. So, that is decreasing. Okay? So, gagamitin natin is, di ba, first degree to. So, therefore, ito, second degree pa rin. Pero yung second degree na mayroong decreasing na slope. So, that is, ito yun. Okay, concave downward. So, ang correct curve is pag ganito. Okay. So, ayusin lang natin. Ayan. Ganyan. So, anyway, sa board exam, hindi naman mahalaga yung ano, no? Yung, yung curve kasi hindi naman siya tinatanong. Eh, paano kung tinatanong, no? Paano kung yung choices, ganyan? Which of the following is the correct, ano, position time diagram? Okay, so mahalaga pa rin na diniscuss natin siya. Pero anyways, ang tinatanong, how far has the car traveled? O, so ito na yung sagot. Yung 3,000. Okay? So therefore, S at 60 is 3,000 meters. So that is correct. Okay? So gets... So, I think let us proceed. Ayan, no? So, next sample problem tayo, guys. Ayan. So, situation 11. 
So dito wala nang binigay na diagram. So mandatory na tayo magbigay, no? Kung kinakailangan. So question is a car accelerates from initial velocity of 10 meters per second. The acceleration is increasing uniformly from 0 to 8 meters per second squared in 6 seconds. During the next 2 seconds, the car decelerates at a constant rate of 2 meters per second. So determine the velocity after 8 seconds and then determine the distance traveled after 8 seconds. So ito maganda tong problem na to, no? So kailangan lang ma-drawing natin no, isa-isa one by one yung mga diagram. So of course, always tayo nag-i-start dito sa ano, acceleration as much as possible. Kasi para makuha yung yung sa baba, kailangan natin yung area sa taas, di ba? Para makuha to, kailangan yung area sa taas. So let us start with the acceleration time diagram. Okay? So may mga, may mga binigay na points so at 0 tapos merong at 6 seconds. So lagay ko dito 6 seconds and then after 8 seconds. Okay? So basahin natin yung unang sinabi. So sabi ay no, the acceleration is increasing uniformly from 0 to 8 meters per second squared in 6 seconds. So ano ibig sabihin ng uniformly increasing? Or increasing uniformly. So, nag-start siya from 0 daw, yung acceleration. At 6 seconds, so nasa ano na siya? 8 na, no? So, for example, ito yung 8. Ayan, no? 8. So, pag sabi mong increasing uniformly, ayan, no? Sabihin, that is connected by a line. So, yun yung ibig sabihin nun, no? Iba yung constant acceleration sa increasing uniformly na acceleration. So, ito kasi constant to, no? So, from 0 to 10 seconds, no? Yung acceleration niya is constant at 10 meters per second squared. So, dito, yung acceleration niya, palaki ng palaki. No? Until makarit siya ng 6 seconds, no? 8 meters per second squared na daw siya. Okay? And then next, oh, during the next 2 seconds, so, yun yung from 6 to 8, Ano na na daw yung acceleration niya? The car decelerates at a constant rate of 2 meters per second squared. So, deceleration that is projected sa negative axis, no? Negative A axis. So, negative 2. But, sabi constant, no? So, sabihin, bababa tayo dito. So, etong height na to. Dali natin dito. Ito, negative 2. So, constant. So, therefore, horizontal hanggang 8 seconds. Ayan. So, yan ngayon yung ano, acceleration time diagram. So, once we have the correct acceleration time diagram, so, madali na yung mga susunod, guys. So, next tayo dito sa ano, velocity time. Okay. Velocity time. So, lagay rin natin yung important point, 0. Ito yung 6. Ito yung 8. So, ano daw yung velocity niya at 0? 0 ba guys? 0 ba ang velocity niya at time is equal to 0? Or may sinabi? May sinabi yo. Oh. Ayun, initial velocity of 10. O, lagay natin. At time is equal to 0, nasa 10 na pala siya. Okay, so, for example, ito yun. Yan na yung 10. Okay? So, lahat ng susunod dyan is mag masasolve natin using yung area nito. Okay? So, mean to say from 10, para makapunta tayo yung 6 seconds, anong gagawin? So, kailangan natin tong area na to, no? How much is this area? This is 1 half, base is 6, height is 8. So, I think this one is 24. No? So, from 10, Add natin tong area, so 10 plus 24, that is 34. So, yan ngayon yung velocity niya at 6 seconds. Okay, so lagay natin 10 plus 24, 34. So, how, how uh, do we connect yung 2 points na to? Paano ko connect yung 2 points? So, ito first degree. 
So, dapat ito, second degree, no? Second degree. So, anong type ng second degree yan? So, check mo yung area sa taas, no? So, nag-0, di ba 0 to? Ito, 8. So, 0 to 8, increasing, di ba? So, gamitin natin yung increasing slope na, again, ito. Okay. So, concave upward. Ayan, ganyan. So, I think baba ko lang ng konti ito. Ayan. Okay lang. So, sana na gets, no? And then, afterwards, from 34, anong gagawin? Ia-add naman natin tong area na to. But this one is a negative area. So, area equals negative 2. Okay, times what? Diba 2 seconds to? Yung time interval na yan. So, height is negative 2. Base is 2. Okay, so that is negative 4. So, therefore, from 34, i-add natin tong negative 4. So, ther therefore, that is 34 minus 4, no? So, magiging dito. 34 minus 4, that is 30. Okay, so sabihin nyo yung velocity niya at 8 seconds. So, how will we connect that one? So, so since this one is a 0 degree, so madali, first degree na, line lang ito. Okay, so yan na yung ano? Yan na yung ating velocity time diagram. Okay? At tinatanong, velocity after 8 seconds. So, therefore, velocity 8i 30 meters per Per second, no, using yung diagram. Okay, so we are correct. Okay. Okay, last item tayo guys, no. And then after this one, so, ano na tayo. Next video na lang, no. Natin i-continue yung, ano, um, yung last situation for motion curves. Kasi mahaba bang discussion yun, guys. So, dito muna tayo. Determine the distance traveled after 8, eight seconds. So, what we need to do is just draw the uh, position time diagram. Okay. So, yan. So, lagi natin important point. 0, 6, saka 8. Okay. So, at time is equal to 0, what is the position? May sinabi ba? Walang sinabi, no? From the um, statement of the problem, walang sinabi na position. So, let us assume na nag-start siya at 0. Okay? So, para makap makapunta tayo ng 6 seconds, so, ano kailangan natin gawin? So, from 0, kailangan natin i-add yung area na to, no? So, add natin. So, paano kukunin yung area na yan, guys? No? Paano kukunin yung area? Area is what? So, as you can see, irregular na siya, no? So, what we can do is to divide, no? Yung area into um, basic shapes. So, as you can see, pwede natin siyang hatiin ng ganito. Isang rectangle, tapos isang spandrel. Okay lang. So, kasi irregular siya. So, gawin natin. Hatiin natin into basic shapes, no? Isang rectangle, isang spandrel. Now, ano yung area kapag spandrel, guys? So, kapag spandrel, so, there are two types kasi ng spandrel, no? So, ganyan yan. So, let's say, for example, ito yung base, ito yung height. So, pwede rin kasing itong isa. No? So, for the white region, this one is two-thirds uh, ng base times the height. For this one, this one is one-thirds base times the height. Okay? But the problem here is that this one is only limited to second degree. Okay, ah? So, isa-isahin muna natin kasi mahalaga to. So, itong two-thirds base times the height and then itong one-thirds base times the height is only applicable if the curve is Second degree. Okay, so baba nga natin to guys. 
So, wait lang ha. Papakita ko sa inyo yung pattern. Kasi, paano kapag first degree? Kumari, ganito. First degree is diba ganito? Line. So, base times the height. Ah, uh, base saka height, rather. So, how do we solve for this one? Diba ito, ano to? 1 half base times the height. Ito, ano to? 1 half base times the height din, diba? Kasi triangle lang yan eh. So, that's the pattern, no? So, what if, ano? Third degree. What if lang, maka-encounter ka, third degree. So, this one is also useful, no? Pagating sa, ano? Um, sa strength of materials, lalo na sa pagdrawing ng shear and moment diagram. So, what if you have here third degree? So, ganun pa rin naman yun. Curve pa rin. Naging third degree lang. So, base saka height. So, paano kunin to? So, this one is actually one fourth base times the height. Ito is um, three fourths no, base times the height. So, yun yung pattern, guys. No? So, makikita mo na yung pattern na kapag siya is nth degree, sample, ayan yung curve. Nth degree. So, yung area ng spandrel ay um, 1 over what's the pattern? N plus 1 no? times base times the height. Di ba? Pag first degree, eto, dito tayo sa taas. First degree, so 1 plus 1, 1 half. Second degree, so 1 over 2 plus 1, so 1 third. So, ito, third degree, so 1 over 3 plus 1, 1 fourth. So, kapag n degree, no, any degree, so that's 1 over n plus 1 times um, base times the height. Okay? So, alam mo na yun dito, guys, no? Um, this one is what? Ito kahit hindi mo na to alamin eh, sa taas eh. Pero this one is what? Ano to? Um, n over n plus 1 base times height. I think, no? So, let's try nga kung valid ito at any point. So, n over n plus 1. So, what if first degree? So, yung n is 1 over n plus 1. So, 1 over 1 plus 1. So, 1 half. Eto, second degree. So, n is equal to 2. So, 2 over 2 plus 1. Eto, n is equal to 3. So, 3 over 3 plus 1. So, tama. No? Valid ito. For this area, white um, region. So, that is n over n plus 1. Pero, pwedeng ito na lang tandaan mo, no? For the, ano, spandrel. 1 over n plus 1. Okay lang. So, sana gets yun, guys, no? Sana nagets yung pattern nung pagkuha ng area. Now, another limitation for this one is ito. Hindi siya always um, valid, no? Or hindi siya always yung ginagamit na pagkuha ng area. Okay. So, ano yung sinasabi ko? Class, i-consider lang natin itong spandrel. Okay. This shape. I-consider lang natin spandrel yan. If yung area sa taas niya is triangular. Okay. Or yung vertex na ito, kasi parang lumalabas, di ba para siyang parabola, kalahate, no? na ito yung vertex niya. So, magiging spandrel lang siya if yung vertex na to is nagko-coincide dun sa vertex nung diagram sa taas. So, in that case, vertex nung triangle. So, there will be cases kasi class na ganito. No, limbawa, yung sa taas, ganito. Um, trapezoidal, no? first degree. So, of course, kahit trapezoidal yan, sa baba niyan, ano pa rin yan? Uh, second degree pa rin. Gets ba yun? No? So, that's the difference kasi. So, dito. Kaya, ayan na. This one is the first degree. So, kapag dinrawing mo yun sa baba, di ba second degree? Ayan. So, for this one, valid. No? Kasi nagtagpo yung vertex nila. Ayan. But for this scenario, kapag trapezoidal, okay, first degree pa rin naman yan. No? Kasi line pa rin itong nasa taas. Eh, oh. 
So, yung sa baba niyan, second degree pa rin. Okay? But the problem here is that hindi natin pwedeng gamitin dito yung 1 3rd base times the height, no? Cannot be yan, guys. Kasi, yung ver yung, yung ano, yung tin tinitignan mong vertex ng parabola is hindi naman siya vertex dito. No? So, meaning to say, hindi ito yung vertex, no? Vertex ba yan? Mali. Hindi yan vertex ng parabola. Okay? So, that's why we cannot use this one. 1 3rd base times the height. Okay lang ba? Ito kasi, ito tama to na vertex yan. No, yung curve niyan is parang ganyan. Yan yung continuation niyan. So dito, hindi yan, hindi siya diyan mag-aangat, hindi yan ganyan. Okay? So yung vertex niyan andi dito, guys. Kung gusto mo lang malaman na, kung gusto mo lang magkaroon ng idea. Okay, so para makuha mo yung vertex niyan, you just have to continue this one. Okay, hanapin mo yung vertex nung supposedly triangle sa taas. Tapos, dyan yung vertex niya. No? So, meaning to say, tutuloy pa itong bababa. Ayan, bababa pa siya dyan. At ito yung magiging vertex. Okay, tapos dyan siya aangat. Okay, yan yung, yan yung parabola niyan, guys. No? Nandi dito yung vertex. Katugma na ito. Pero hindi ito. Kaya, hindi pwede itong 1 3 base times the height. Ulit, ulit, no? Kasi later on, pag-uusapan natin yan sa ano yun, sa strength of materials. No? Sa pagkawa ng... Um, Shear and moment diagram. So, i-elaborate pa natin siya ulit doon. But anyways, for this scenario, ito, spandrel ba to? Yes, kasi nagtugma nga siya ng vertex nung um, diagram sa taas. So, therefore, we can use yung 1 3 base times the height. Okay? So, therefore, lagyan natin yung area. Area equals, so, ito muna tayo, yung spandrel. So, that is what? 1 thirds, base is 6, height is, ano yung height? 24 lang yung height guys ha, 34 minus 10. Okay, kulang pa, plus yung area sa baba na itong rectangle. So that is plus base times the height, base is 6, height is 10. So what now is the area guys? Okay, so the area is 108. So therefore, from 0, i-add ko tong area na to. So 0 plus 108, edi 108, no? So at 6 seconds, say for example, ito yun. So ito yung 0 plus 108. 108, ayan. So since the area above is second degree, so therefore this must be third degree. So, anong type ng third degree? Yung concave upward or concave downward? So, check mo ulit. From 10, naging 34. So, increasing. So, ang gagamitin natin is yung eto. No? Yung increasing din na slope for the third degree curve. Okay? So, concave upward. Saan na yan? Concave upward. Increasing. Ganyan. So, paano i-coconnect? edi pa ganito. Ayan yung third degree. No? From negative slope to positive slope. Increasing. Okay? Next. From 6 seconds, paano tayo pupunta sa 8 seconds? So, ito yung sa 8. So, ang gagawin natin, from 6 na 108, we will just add the area between 6 to 8, which is ito. So, yeah, madali na yan, guys, no? Trapezoid lang yan. So, what is the area of this trapezoid? Area is equal to 1 half, yung height 1 plus height 2. So, 34 plus 30 and then times the base na 2. Nama? 1 half B1 plus ito yung B2 and then ito yung gisilbing H. Okay? So, how much is that, guys? That is 64. Okay? So, mean to say, from 108, add natin to 64. So, 108 plus 64, 
that is 172. So let's say for example, ito yun. No? So this one is 108 plus 64. 172. Okay? So malapit na tayo matapos. Paano natin i-coconnect yung two points? So how will we connect these points? No? So check mo yung diagram sa taas. No? From this, 34 naging 30. No? 34 naging 30. Decreasing. So gagamitin natin yung decreasing na slope. Yung pag ganito. So since this one is what? First degree, no? Ayun, no? sinulat ko guys. Ha? First degree. So therefore, second degree yung pangko-connect natin dito. So second degree na decreasing. Yung ganito. So that is concave downward. Ayan, pa ganyan. So that now is the representation ng um, um, position time diagram. So lagay natin dito. Ayan, ang dami ko nang nasulat guys, no? So nakita ba yung sinulat ko kanina? So sana nakita guys. And then sana gets na yung ginawa natin. Anyways, the question is determine the distance after 8 seconds. So ito yun. 172. Okay? So, which is what? And correct, guys. Letter D. So, actually, you can determine the distance at any time T. No, hanapin mo lang yung ordinate, no, yung height. Yun nga lang, mahirap. Hanibawa, 7 seconds. Dito mo titignan. So, mahirap. So, gawin mo na lang. Kung gusto mo, um, distance after 7 seconds, edi magsimula ka sa 6, iba 108, Tapos, plus mo yung area hanggang 7 seconds. Ito. So, for example, yan. So, kunin mo yung area nyan. Plus mo dun sa ano, 108. Yun na yung height at 7 seconds. So, yun lang siya, guys. So, um, on the next video, so, pag-uusapan natin yung another method na pagkuha, no, nung direct distance. Okay? Without drawing, no, yung velocity time diagram. Kasi dito, kailangan natin yung velocity time diagram kasi doon tayo nagbabase ng area, di ba? Na pagkukuha na natin ng mga values dito. But, how do we solve, no, yung distance, no, ng eto lang yung meron tayo, yung acceleration time diagram. Okay? So, yun yung gagawin natin on our next video and then i-apply natin siya dito sa dalawa nating problems na to and then dun, dun sa remaining sample problem natin. Okay? So, yun guys, hopefully, nag-guess ninyo yung topic natin. And then, um, practice lang guys, no? So, yun, see you on our next video. And God bless.